Do we have it? New arrival. A very rare and very special new arrival too. So yeah, I'm gonna carry up the filming. I'll explain during the system view more info about the system. System view on now. Turns out I did have it on flash already. So that's that says Shanks Patent Prize Medal Reliable System. It's a two gallon variant and it's made of heavy cast. As this would be stumped in there. The NR stands for non-reversible. It's a uh, three quarter overflow. And it's also got a non-reversible stamped up there as well. And the uh, flush flop sits at the back, along with the fulcrum. And there's the back side of the system. So this one came from an outhouse on an old Victorian terraced. Uh, row of houses and uh, hadn't been used for many many years but the owner wanted to demolish the old outhouse and it still had this inside so the neighbour decided to put it up for sale and sure enough there we go got it for 20 quid and this is a good reference point this is the old flush pop here it's a one and three quarter out inch outlet however you see that the pipe narrows down to standard size standard size width which is typically one and a quarter outlet as you can see it narrows down in there now obviously I stuck this 40 millimeter this 42 mm flush pipe plastic pipe on there and it wouldn't flush at all so I decided to try a little shim like get it to there and now that's how it's flushing reliably now as the name says it's also come from original brackets as well which I'm not sure who they're made by, but I've seen these in a catalogue from a retailer called Val's Bros, which is in the Black Country. Basically, I'm not sure whether they're Val's brackets, but apparently Val's did have a foundry make system, but I'm not sure what they were, but they did retail Dauntless systems and Ventum system systems as well, so we're going to open up the lid and what's inside and yeah this does 
hit lid at the moment, so yeah. Here is the lid. Top of it. Go, it's going out the overflow again in case someone's in. There's the inside of it. The rust is quite thick, but that can clean up okay. It's not it's not too bad, but at least there's no big cutting holes inside of it. And uh, now to show the interesting flushing mechanism the system has. The main reason I brought this because I didn't know what it was. And now I know the answer. And this still has the original Croydon valve, which I thought was a low pressure one, but no, it's actually made of heavy casts as well. It's a high pressure one. And it wasn't filling up at all when I uh, first turned the water on. It was blocked up with debris, etc. And uh, this is the mechanism inside of it. Also, I'm not sure what what this ball is made out of, but it's certainly interesting. So basically, it's this big old cast iron weight block that pushes water down, and then it travels up in this in this dome here, and it goes up to the standpipe and flushes below, which is very unique. Shame it didn't catch on, but it's certainly an interesting design. So let's give it a go now. So show as much as I could. Now I'm going to stick with it like that. I've never looked at but the system came from London, North London. Now unfortunately I'm quite limited on what to clean up for this system. So obviously I'm going to have to take this off in order to remove the weight block out. I can easily lift the fulcrum out like this but... There's no chance I'm going to be able to remove this dome, so I'm going to have to work around it, like I did with the siphon. Thankfully, the rust in here is quite loose, so I can get that off okay, without too many problems. And uh, see what I can work with from there. It's a little bit worn down at the side, so reliability isn't 100%, but again, this will be resolved somewhat from painting and um, if I have to I can fill the edges around with milliput. So yeah, there we go. That's for Shanks Reliable, and uh, thanks for watching. The water's finally flushing out clear, it's got all the rusty debris at the bottom of the pan, so yeah, there we go. And obviously it will only flush when it's exactly up to the water line too. 